All right, we are in lab eight. And in lab eight, we're going to make a series of plots. And most of these plots are going to have two curves on them. One showing something you just measured, and the other being a replot from earlier in the lab of the same thing, just acquired under different conditions. So you can compare and contrast them. So I'm gonna share my screen and show you how to do that. Okay, here we are in the graphing utility, and it's currently set to the curve option, which we learned how to use back in lab two. And with the curve option, you can plot multiple curves, two, three, up to four of them. The thing is, when using this option, each of the curves share the same set of x values. And in lab eight, we're gonna be plotting not four, but two curves, but each of these curves will have its own set of x values. So we can't make use of the curve option. Instead, we're going to use the dual option, which you see adds an extra column to the table. We have a set of x values for curve one and a separate set of x values for curve two. Okay, so the first instance in which you're gonna use the dual option we're going to be plotting Hubble's law as measured from galaxy two, and then we're gonna replot Hubble's law that we had measured previously from galaxy one. So let's put um, that in here. I'm gonna clear out the sample data that comes up automatically, and I'm gonna copy and paste measurements I made the expansion of our rubber band universe measured from the position of galaxy two. So let's label what we're actually plotting here. This is a Hubble's law plot. So we're plotting redshift versus luminosity distance with redshift being on the y-axis and redshift is a dimensionless quantity. It has no unit. And then on the x-axis, we plot velocity distance. There we go. And in our rubber band universe, that's measured in centimeters. And we see the linear relationship that we expect. This data set is measured from galaxy. Two. Now the lab asks us to plot the same thing from galaxy one, which we measured earlier in the lab, and I'm gonna copy over my measurements. Yours will be different, but similar. So the second curve is measured from galaxy one, and you can see that there's no real difference. It doesn't matter which galaxy you're in, you measure the same relationship between the expansion of space and how far away an object is in that space. Okay, and again, you can save these as a PNG or as a JPEG uh, if you need a smaller file. Now in this lab, you'll make a, a series of these Hubble's plots, Hubble plots, and um, upcoming ones, you'll measure Hubble's law not in a universe that's expanding at a constant rate. In both of the cases we see here, it is measured under the conditions of constant expansion, but you'll measure Hubble's law in a decelerating universe and compare that back to uh, the same comparison curve that we've used here for a universe that's expanding at a constant rate and see if there's a difference and what that difference may be. And you'll do it for an accelerating universe as well. And then we'll look at actual data uh, collected with type 1a supernovae and use them to figure out which kind of universe we live in. A universe that's expanding at a constant rate, a decelerating universe, or an accelerating universe. Now, you'll also make plots of the distance between galaxy one and galaxy five. And this is just to confirm that yes, the data you're being presented with and the data that you're acquiring is from a uh, uniformly expanding universe, a decelerating universe, or an accelerating universe. 
So let me show you an example of that. So we'll be plotting the distance between galaxy one and galaxy five. And so on the y-axis, we're gonna have distance measured in centimeters. Actually, this is versus time, put that up in the title. And on the x-axis, I'll put time measured in minutes. And let's do the case where we'll begin by plotting uh, this distance in a universe with a decelerating expansion. Okay, so let's clear out the data we have here. And this will be the next thing that you come to in the lab. Now these data, you're not measuring, this is provided. Each table tells you the distance between galaxy one and galaxy five. That's how you set the spacing of your rubber band. But here is the data from the upcoming table, where again, the x-axis is time measured in minutes, and the y-axis is the distance between galaxy one and galaxy five. You can see this is a decelerating expansion because it's curving downward. With each unit of time, the galaxies are moving farther apart, but by less and less. To really confirm that, the lab will ask you to overplot the distance between galaxy one and galaxy five back when you did it with a constant rate of expansion. And that's this right here. So its unit is constant, or its label is constant rate of expansion. You can see here, under the case of a constant rate of expansion, the distance between galaxy one and five increases the same amount with each unit time each you know, interval of time. But here at the blue curve, it's decelerating. You started with a faster rate of expansion, but it's slowed down to the current rate of expansion. And you'll also make one of these plots for the case of an accelerating universe. And then again, save it as a PNG, or if you need a smaller file, as a JPEG. Okay, that is it for this tutorial.